Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about Cauda Equina Syndrome. This is due to compression of the spinal cord below the L2 level, and this will result in a triad of loss of sensation and absent reflexes and loss of control on the bladder. The presence of these three symptoms is almost definitive for the diagnosis of Cauda Equina Syndrome. The loss of sensation or neural pain can involve one or both legs. The absent reflexes will involve the knees and ankles. And there will be a loss of control of the sphincter of the bladder and sometimes the anal as well. There is another hallmark that is highly indicative of Cauda Equina Syndrome, which is saddle anesthesia. Which is basically anesthesia or loss of sensation in the area in between both thighs. Coda equina is one of the only, if not the only, disease that causes this, so it is highly specific. Causes-wise, think of anything that would compress the spine below L2. The most common cause and the thing that should come to your mind is disc herniation, followed by tumors, or spinal bleed, or sometimes simply trauma. The treatment is, of course, immediate surgery, and prior to going to the surgery, the patient should be given steroids. Because when the spinal cord is compressed, it will swell, and this swelling will lead to more compression. And if the spinal cord is compressed long enough or hard enough, it will permanently die. And we can prevent this swelling and further compression by giving steroids. So, the primary issue should be treated by surgery, but before starting surgery, the patient must be giving steroids. And here's a small quiz. Outside the Cauda Equina Syndrome, which of the following segment of the spinal cord is most likely to present with disc herniation? And the answer is lumbar spine. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.